So there's a pattern I said we're going to be following. So the definition, the definition, the causes, causes. Uh, main affected group, main affected group, focus of infection, okay, and um, uh, mode of transmission. And the last thing is what? Incubation. Incubation period. Incubation period. And um, symptoms. symptoms. Okay, signs and symptoms. Diagnosis. Diagnosis. And the last thing is what? Treatment. treatment. Level of prevention. Yeah, under the treatment, that is when we have the levels. Of prevention, yeah. which I explain details of levels of prevention in our previous videos. Okay, so the assignment is every one of you you are going to follow this scheme. Okay, this same scheme. Hold on, I want to share this thing with us. The the um list that asks us to follow. Okay. There's a list I asked us to, to follow. Hold on. Um, okay. This is, the, this is the list of the disease, including COVID-19 and cancer. cancer. Okay. This is the list we are going to follow. I will be able to do everything. So we are going to apply all this to this. Okay, doctors, please take note of that. You should be able to apply everything here to this. So today I'm just going to give you an example. And on your own, you should be able to figure out each one. Probably as time continues, if we have enough time, we will do others. Okay, let's just start briefly today with Lassa fever. Okay, let's start with Lassa fever. Lassa, let me use another color for Lassa fever. Um, let's see Lassa fever. Okay. So first, what is Lassa fever, doctors? I want to hear from us. Obviously, I know this is not the first time we are hearing the word Lassa fever, if I'm correct. Mm -hmm. Hey, doctors. This is the first time we are all hearing Lassa fever. It's no. not. No. What is what is Lassa fever? Please let's let's respond very fast. It's a viral hemorrhagic fever. It's a viral hemorrhagic fever. Apparently, you are you are absolutely correct. It's a viral hemorrhagic fever. Somebody say viral hemorrhagic fever. Okay. Yeah, it's an acute viral hemorrhagic illness. They take note of that. It's no more than that. Is okay. Wait, let me know is acute viral uh, hemorrhagic 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 illness okay i take note of that so that's that about the definition okay i take note of it and apart from that, apart from uh, Lassa fever being a viral hemorrhagic fever, what is the incubation period of Lassa fever? Anybody remember the incubation period for Lassa fever? What is the incubation period? It's very important for us to be able to remember the incubation period for Lassa fever. Anybody remember the incubation period for Lassa fever? Well, there are, is there everybody just quiet? Okay, no problem, let's continue. I don't know. So the incubation period is, it actually varies between six to 21 days. Okay, let's take note of that, it's between six to 21 days. Some will say two to 21 days, but it's between six to 21 days, okay? So the incubation, incubation period is what? Is within uh, six to 21 days. That's the incubation period for Lassa fever. 
And apart from the incubation period, very important, the main causes of Lassa fever is what? Right. What's the causes? Virus. No, no, no. It's caused by Lassa virus, doctor. Don't miss it up. Okay? It's caused by the Lassa virus that belongs to the arena virus family, also known as the arena viridae. Do you understand, doctors? So the main cause is, is what? The Lassa fever is caused by Lassa, Lassa virus. It belongs to the family of the, is a member, member of the arena virus or arena viridae. You understand? It's members of the arena virus, arena viridae. Take note of that, okay? So the mode of transmission, you have to understand something, is transmitted through when uh, a, when rat, is, there's a specific type of rat called the mastomy rat, mastomy latalensis, okay? That's the name of the rat. And it's also known as the multimam multimamillary rat, mastomy rat. I don't know, those rats are rat that has multiple breasts and all the rest. Do you understand? There, there, there was a picture test in last exam on that, they, 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 they display a picture of a rat, and the answer was Lassa fever, if I'm not mistaken. Do you understand? So there's this rat, Mastomy natalensis, is the main cause, is, is the main, uh, is the main reservoir of this virus. And how is it spread? When the rat excretes, when the rat excretes, is in contact with maybe food or maybe household items or contaminated with anything that you eat or something. So the, the excreta is the one that now cause the, that contains the virus. Do you understand? So mostly it's from contact. It's transmitted by contact. Do you understand? When the excret is in contact with a household items or with your food, so you can get Lassa virus. Do you understand? Or probably if you, you go and consume a rat that is infected or a mastomy rat. Do you understand? So you might be infected with uh, Lassa virus. Does that make sense, doctors? Hello, let me try to write yes. that down. Yes, doctor. Let me yes, try doctor. to write that down. Transmission. Yes, okay. Doc. Yes, sir. But how, okay, how, how is the uh, nurses and doctors why are they not able to, con to contact in the hospital? How are they not able to contact they, in the hospital are they able to contact in the hospital like you can mean get, of course on, you can get it is, yeah if you are if you are it's possible now but you have to take patients. proper yeah you can you can you have to take proper precaution doctor you understand you have to take proper precaution that is why you have to follow your levels of prevention adequately you understand and trust me, I, I feel this question might even come out in your exam, this Lassa fever. I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not predicting because there have been few cases of Lassa fever also now recently. Do you understand? And they might want to take yes. this epidemiology thing so serious now since there have been different outbreak. So it's from, let me, let me just write something. Okay. Doctor, what I'm trying to ask, a situation whereby uh, nurses or doctor are infested in the hospital. Is it through blood contact or sputum or fluid? Through what? No, probably it might be through fluid from infected person now. Okay. Yeah. But that is not the main thing. The main thing is excreta from the animals, please. Don't go write something yeah. that is not uh, important. Write the main thing that is important. Or when you are asked, talk about the main important, in, the main important thing. Do you understand, doctor? All right. Yeah, so from uh, from contact with, let's say, food or household items, household items contaminated with um, agents. Okay, take note of this, mostly from prudent excretors. And the name of the rat is the mastomy rat. Mastomy, mastomy rat. Also known as the mastomy natalentis. Multimamid 
uh, rat must to me that uh, lenses okay please take note of this name is very very important probably for mcq or for some other things okay so let's continue doctors let's continue so the next part that is very important that you should know apart from this is the main affected group the main affected group so which age group are actually affected obviously there's no specific age group age group unlike maybe uh, meningococcal meningitis there might be specific age group but for lassa fever there's no specific age group people that are affected are people living in rural areas people who doesn't have poor sanit they have poor sanitation in crowded communities you understand here even in lagos i've worked in some certain street that i saw rats in the me in, in the afternoon they are gallivanting apparently moving around the gutters i'm like wow you understand so people that live in such environment might actually be predisposed to having lassa fever so people who are living in rural areas okay those are the most people that might be affected so people living in let's say people living in rural areas okay people who have poor let's say poor sanitation okay who are so poor sanitations okay apart from that also crowded communities people staying around a very crowded area so they might let me move this up people stay in crowded communities might actually be also predisposed to having these ailments you understand where is dr gift all right i'm here doctor. okay so let's continue doctors so apart from that the next point is what the focus of infection the focus of infection is very important focus of infection focus of infection for lassa fever apparently is in west africa okay it's endemic in west africa you should take note of that it's endemic in west africa including nigeria is one of those countries in west africa so countries like Benin republic also Benin. countries like nigeria is also one of it we have lassa fever recently i think there there's a reported case in bida fmc bida okay places like mali mali this is like uh dr gift what's yeah. going on hello hello is dr gift here where is my network having issues hello 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 doctor we can hear you what's going on where is dr gift hello okay say she can hear me all right please i i don't know dr gift went off because i want at least somebody to have the video on it's sound it looks as if i'm just talking and probably i want to know if there's anything wrong if there's problem with my network yeah i was actually recording it before I paused because I was trying to ask about Dr. Gibbs and everybody's quiet. Is all right. So for the treatment, no, no vaccine for Lassa fever, I want you to know. But the major treatment is mostly of a prophylactic treatment, which you use is your antivirus therapy, ribavirin. So ribavirin is what is used, okay? Ribavirin treatment include the use of ribavirin. Ribavirin. Okay, this is the antiviral drug that is being used. Okay, so now, haven't you understand the concept of the treatment, the clinical diagnosis? The last part that I said we will talk about is what the levels of 
prevention. This is the, if you notice what I wrote here, there's levels of prevention. Okay, the levels of prevention is the last part. So now you should be able to apply levels of prevention to all these things. Is the dose important? It doesn't matter, you can include the dose, but obviously nobody will disturb your stress you overdose. They won't stress you overdose. There's always a guideline for those. You understand, Dr. B? Nobody will stress you over those. Okay? Nobody will stress you over the dose. So, if you know it, good. You understand? But it doesn't really matter. So, uh, what, are, what was I saying? The next point that you should know is the levels of prevention. Please take note of that. Is the levels of prevention. It's very, 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 very important for you to at least be able to say the levels of prevention. Why is this thing not showing the levels of prevention? All right. So please, at this point, do you have any question? At this point? At this point? No. Okay. Everybody understand everything? Or do I need to glance or recap on everything we've done before we go to levels of prevention? And this one, this okay. level of prevention, I will call anybody to do it. Doc. No. Yeah, yeah, Dr. Alex. For the fact that you say it has no uh, specific reason, that mean the treatment is just to treat the symptom, right? Yeah, in symptomatic treatment, and probably you're also doing the prevention. So you are doing uh, uh, revivalin has actually been helpful. It has actually very been helpful. It's a very good drug. You understand? Okay. For right, post exposure prophylaxis and for the treatment. It has been a very good drug. All right, doctor. So a quick recap on what you've done. Yeah, so I said for your, for these are the list of the MRN of the infectious or the so-called levels of prevention we'll be doing. Lassa, white polio, meningococci, cholera, hepatitis, monkey, porcello, Ebola, chicken pox, measles, HIV, TB, malaria, COVID-19. So, and I said, you have to follow this pattern. You come with the definition, the causes, the main affected group, the focus of infection, the mode of transmission, incubation, period, signs and symptoms, diagnosis, and the last part, I don't know, it went off, is the levels of prevention, which I have explained the levels of prevention before earlier on, the five levels of prevention. I'm going to share the video of that with us. The five main levels of prevention that is further divided into primary, secondary, and tertiary, which I explained. And we are now applying this old scheme we are starting with the number one year, Lassa fever. And I gave the definition as an acute hemorrhagic illness uh, with an incubation period of six to 21 days. And it's mostly caused by Lassa virus, members of the Arenaviridae family, or Arenavirus. You understand? And transmission is through contact with excrete of animals. Maybe the, 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 the rat excrete is on the food you want to eat. If you go and eat such food, you might be infected. Or maybe, uh, and the name of the rat that mostly causes the mastomy rat, the multimamillary rat, mastomy natalensis, okay? And the affected people are people living in rural areas, people that burn bush. When you burn bush, what happens to the rat? The rat who comes out, comes to your house. Do you understand? People living in crowded communities, places that is not well sanitized. For example, in some streets in Lagos, here you go to Ajegunle, in some gutter, you will see uh, rat all around. Do you understand? In broad daylight, doctors. In broad daylight. Do you understand? So, focus of infection. This disease is actually endemic in West Africa. In places like Benin Republic, Nigeria, Mali, Ghana, Syria, alone, uh, Liberia, and so on. You all know African, West African countries, okay? And the signs and symptoms is very tricky, which I explained. The signs and symptoms, there's early manifestations, there's late manifestations, and the early onset, it's also always present with fever and generalized weakness. And after a few days, that's when you notice headache, sore throat, vomiting, diarrhea, abdominal pain, chest pain. Very vague symptoms. You might apparently think this is malaria. Apparently it's not. Do you understand? So it's very important for you to be able to differentiate this from malaria. And in severe cases, that's when you start seeing swelling of the face, bleeding from orifices, from the mouth, nose, vagina, and all the rest, from the hair. From the highs, you see uh, all this um, blood on the cornea and everything. You understand? Then the patient might experience the signs of shock because it's losing blood, low BP and all the rest, seizure, tremor. You understand? These are the things the patient will present to. 
And we talk about the clinical diagnosis. The diagnosis is the other part, and the diagnosis is clinical. The signs and symptoms is obvious, but that is not a definitive diagnosis. The definitive diagnosis is lab by using your reverse transcriptive polymerase chain reaction assay. You understand ELISA to check for the antibodies, and you do antigen detection test. Any of them you can use it. Then virus isolation by culture. That is the way you make a diagnosis of it. And for the treatment, treatment there's no specific treatment, but ribavirin antivirus have been helpful. Okay, so also it's also used for post-exposure prophylaxis. Okay, there's no vaccine for Lassa virus. That is just in summary what we've been discussing since. So now we are left to the other part where we have to talk about the applications of the levels of prevention that I explained earlier on to this. We have to apply it, the levels of prevention. So, uh, wait, the time is almost going off. So I think we need, I need to share another link with us, but I don't want to stress us this afternoon, this weekend. Let's just continue for the meantime, okay? So now, doctors, please make a screenshot. If you are making a screenshot of this page, make a screenshot, please. I believe you make a screenshot, doctors. Hello, is everybody here? Hey, doctor. All right. Yes, we've made screenshots. Okay. So, Dr. Aisha, can Dr. Aisha hear yes. me? Yes. Dr. Yes, Aisha, this is going to be something we are going to do together. I will call anybody. I've, we've done the first part. Dr. Aisha, please, can you apply? Please, Dr. Aisha, can you tell the, the levels of prevention? Can you tell me the levels of prevention? Please, if you are the one making a noise, okay. please mute yourself. Who is that person making noise there? Is it noise? All right. I think it's from my side. Ah, Dr. Aisha. All right. But yes. please mention the five levels of prevention. Okay. Um, number one, there is a general health promotion. Mm -hmm. Um, a specific prophylaxis, mm -hmm. early diagnosis and treatment, mm -hmm. um, limiting disability and then rehabilitation. Well done. Thank you, Dr. Aisha. All right. So, Dr. Dr. Helen, can Dr. Helen hear me? Can Dr. Is Dr. Helen here? Okay, Dr. Helen is not here. Dr. Favor. Dr. Favor, yeah. please can you apply the first levels of prevention to Lassa fever? All right. Um, the first level of prevention is general education and promotion. So my target population there is going to be for the um, healthy individuals. My objective is to prevent onset of the disease. And my means is through flyers, TV, um, newspaper, town criers. And my method um, here is going to be educating them about Lassa fever. The Lassa fever is an acute viral hemorrhagic um, illness and which usually the incubation period is about 6 to 21 days and usually caused by the multimamate rat which is known as the mastomin natalensis usually transmitted from true food um true food contacts um from this multimamate rat through their fluid through the blood contact with them so i will endeavor them to have um, to make sure that the environment is clean they should make sure that um they should make sure that the environment is clean they should make sure that they cover their food and grains properly well done well done dr fever well done that was very good that's very good only the the distance is fast you'll have gotten you one shower my boys all right let's go no you can still send it uh, you said <laughs> i said you can still send it the distance dr <laughs> fever the distance is far. <laughs> All right, Dr. Mice, can Dr. Mice hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Dr. Mice, please, can you can you tell us the second levels of prevention and apply it to Lassa fever, please? Oh, I just joined now. I didn't know the class. So like, I've not been following. Ah, you've not been following but, since. Yeah, I just joined now. Okay, so wow. All right. So, uh, Dr. Helen, can Dr. Helen hear me? What is wrong? Dr. Helen, um, this has been a month. Dr. Helen, can you hear me? All right. All right. Dr. Helen can hear me. I think I, I need to share another link with us. 
I, can, I need to share another link with us. This thing is going to go off now. Please let me share another link with us, okay? Please let join on time. All right.